Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rajiv Kumarpi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am discussing about a numerical problem related to in-situ density determination using sand replacement method. Let us move to the numerical problem. In this numerical problem, uh, during a site investigation for a residential building complex site, uh, the observations were taken for the unit weight measurement by sand replacement method. Details are given here, the weight of excavated soil, 761.25 gram, the weight of sand plus cylinder, W1 given as 10,500 gram, weight of sand plus cylinder after pouring in the excavated hole and the cone, that is W2, 9,450 gram, weight of sand plus cylinder after pouring for the cone only, W3, 9,005 gram. Volume of calibrating container 1000 cc, weight of sand in the calibrating container after pouring from the cylinder 1500 gram. Uh, you are asked to calculate in situ unit weight of uh, soil. So, this is the question given, and uh, uh, the theory related to this, that is, sand replacement method, is already discussed in uh, one of the videos earlier. Uh, you may look into that for details. Let us uh, try to solve this numerical. Data given in the question are uh, shown here. You can, uh, this is straightforward uh, numerical. Uh, you can easily solve this. So here, uh, the whole idea of solving this numerical is to find out the uh, density of uh, density of sand, uh, which is used for uh, finding out the uh, volume of the uh, pit, which is created, the excavation which is created in the in the field. Okay, so uh, we will uh, try to see how how it can be solved. Okay. So uh, here, uh, the weight of sand filling the excavated hole and the cone can be found out. Weight of uh, sand filling the excavated excavated uh, uh, hole and the cone and the and the conical portion actually okay uh, this can be calculated uh, easily we have w1 that is weight of sand and cylinder minus w2 w2 is nothing but weight of sand plus cylinder after pouring the excavate into the excavated hole and the cone okay so W1 minus W2 we will get uh, so this one is W1 and W2. You direct this one, you will get uh, 1050 gram. Okay. So uh, now you need to find out the weight of sand filling cone alone. So here what happens, there is a conical portion and then there is excavated uh, bit. So this is the uh, one. So this conical portion will also be filled with sand and uh, this excavated portion also filled with sand. So what uh, uh, you need to do is uh, you need to find out uh, this portion first conical portion and then uh, this portion you can easily calculate. So this is the pit or the excavation. excavation and uh, uh, this is the cone or conical portion so this is the weight so now uh, what we have to find out is uh, the weight of sand filling the cone So that, that can be easily found out uh, like uh, 
W2, W2 minus uh, W1, W3. Okay, so here uh, you have to move from uh, this one, that is W2, W2, this W2, then uh, direct this one, that is weight of sand plus cylinder after pouring uh, for the conical portion only. So uh, you can easily get uh, the weight of sand filling the conical portion. That is nothing but W2 minus W3. That is 400 and gram. Okay. So this is the one. So now weight of sand filling the hole. That is this this one, uh, which we have already created in the in the in the in the uh, field. That is this portion. Okay. So this portion, you need to calculate this portion. Okay. So this is excavation or the hole which is created in the field. Okay. And so what uh, we can do is weight of sand filling the hole. Or, or or the excavation so this can be easily calculated now how it can be done so we have already got this value here 1050 minus 445 so this one this value okay that is weight of sand filling the excavated portion and the cone and weight of sand filling the conical portion so you direct you will get the excavated portion okay that is the whole idea behind this this is a very straightforward uh, question as i mentioned to you so 605 gram so 605 gram now unit weight of sand you have to calculate okay how do we do that unit weight of sand now uh, unit weight of sand should be calculated okay for that we require the weight of the sand in the calibrating container so weight of the sand in the calibrating container we can calculate uh, you look at here here what happens uh, the calibrating container is uh, in this uh, form what happens when you have the sand pouring cylinder which is kept over here and uh, initially uh, this conical this uh, cylindrical portion will be filled by um, sand then there will be a conical portion on the sand pouring cylinder. So that portion, the sand in that portion will be here also. The total weight of uh, sand on the calibrating container is total weight of this one and weight of sand in this uh, cylinder also. So we, we don't require the uh, weight of sand in the, in the conical portion because uh, uh, we know the volume of we know the volume of the uh, the container, uh, this calibrating container. That is nothing but uh, thousand uh, centimeter cube. We require to know the weight of sand in this. Okay, weight of sand. Okay, weight of sand in this. Okay, so we know the volume. We know the volume. So we we require to know the weight of sand. So we don't require this. So what we have to do is we need to. Uh, find out this so for that purpose uh, it is given in the question uh, uh, the uh, weight of a calibrating container and uh, calibrating can this one is calibrating can or calibrating container so weight of uh, calibrating container and uh, the sand which is uh, after pouring from the is uh, uh, cylinder okay sand pouring cylinder so we don't require this portion one Okay, this portion one weight of sand in the conical part should be detected. Okay, so now uh, for that purpose, what we do is 1500 is given in the question. So divide minus 445 is the weight of sand in sand in the conical portion. Okay, here you will get uh, 1055 gram. So this is the weight of sand in in the uh, calibrating container. Okay, once you know weight of sand in the calibrating container, you can cal calculate the unit weight of, uh, of sand. 
okay it is nothing but weight of sand in the calibrating container divided by volume of the calibrating container so here you will get 1055 gram per cc so this is the unit weight of sand once you know the unit weight of sand uh, you can easily calculate the volume of the hole okay volume of the hole is uh, the weight of sand filling the hole we know okay that is already calculated okay so volume of the hole can be calculated hole which is created in the field okay so that is 605 that is the weight of sand uh, which filled the hole okay divided by uh, density or unit uh, weight of unit weight of sand is nothing but uh, 1.055 gram per cc okay 1.055 gram per cc so that is nothing but uh, this one okay this one okay so here uh, uh, the value is 573.46 cc is the uh, volume of the hole so now once you know volume of the hole you can easily find out in situ unit weight okay because uh, we know that uh, the weight of sand weight of excavated soil from the hole okay that uh, the soil which contained in the hole is known to us okay so in situ unit weight in situ unit weight is nothing but 761 which is given already given in the question divided by the volume of the hole is 573.46 so this is uh, turn out to be 1.33 gram per cc so this is an in-situ technique actually uh, which is uh, uh, used widely okay so uh, details about its uh, theory portion how it is done sand replacement method is done you can see the link given in the description box Okay, you can get more information from that. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me.